welcome back guys to another beer review uh yep second beer review of the day 11 o'clock in the morning here get them down you're it hey <laughs> so uh another greek craft beer uh this is again from uh grapes and gratification and this is a bottle of their pale ale and this is coming in at six percent 30 ibu so uh their stuff's been pretty decent so far so i'm looking forward to getting this out uh, label again that's their sort of standard label by the looks of it uh, the bottle cap quite like that one so let's get it open get it into a glass see what we get which one do I go do, 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 do. Get for the big one there. welcome back guys to another beer review uh, back with another big hitting beer now uh, got four to do Coming home Tuesday. I don't really want to drink Tuesday. I've got four in the fridge to do to do tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> I've got what have I got in there? I've got a ten percent Imperial IPA. Uh, I've got a nine percent Welsh Red Ale. Not Welsh Red Ale. Why am I saying Welsh? Nine <laughs> percent Red Ale. I've got seven percent IPA and a six and a half percent no and a five percent blonde to do. So I've still got a couple of good beers to do tomorrow. Uh, but for tonight, this is going to be my final one. Looking forward to this one. Uh, and it's another Imperial Stout. Uh, this time from Dark Crops. I hope you can see that. The light is it's such a sort of dark room, but you've just got bright light, so it's hard to get it. This is Dark Crops Freezing Moon High Gravity Stout. Coming in at 10% ABV. 20 IBU, so I'm hoping it's going to have a bit of sweetness to it. Uh, do like the label. Uh, bottle cap's quite plain. See if I can make anything out on the back here. This beer is great for aging. Uh, the taste and aroma will mellow out over time, allowing different characteristics of the beer to shine through and will peak at two years of aging. God, it seems a shame to drink this, it really does. But, uh, Drink it, I'm gonna do so. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, this is from uh, Dark Crops anyway. Uh, so I've done enough waffling now. Let's get this bugger open and uh, get drinking. Uh, I would have taken some of these beers home, but uh, for what I've paid for them, uh, I don't want them to be in the suitcase and maybe get broken or whatever. If it'd been a couple of pound beers, I would have probably happily, you know spread them out and done a load when I come home but as you know a bit more expensive so uh, let's get it out see what we get so this should have been eight euros I think uh, like, ooh. yeah a bit boozy big hit of chocolate in there big hit of chocolate so uh, let's get it in a glass see what we get not looking as thick as the other stout I had before, but looking pretty damn good. Now look at the colour of that head. In there, that's jet black, and that is a real dark, dark tan head. Uh, looks a lot thinner than the stout I had before. So, uh, trying to get some light. I can't see any carbonation, but there's, bound, there's obviously some in there and there, so. Let's give it a swirl. The head is going slowly, but it's sticking there. That's the brownest head I've ever seen. Or well, one of the, it's pretty dark that is. Chocolate. Big sort of milk chocolate aromas. Roasted malt. Uh, almost. Milky coffee, uh, yeah, smells good. Milky coffee, roasted milk, milk chocolate. So, excuse me for burping, I've just had my tea. So, uh, Chinese, by the way, just in case you're interested. <laughs> so, there we go, beer in a glass, let's dive in. Cheers, everyone. Straight away, 
body's nowhere near like the Imperial Stout I've done before. Honestly, that really was engine oil. That was thick. Carbonation. You take a mouthful and lots of little bubbles. And it gives the beer a lovely smooth mouthfeel. Uh, actually makes it a little bit heavier in body. So body I'm impressed with. Well, a little bit dis disappointed, but the carbonation certainly makes it feel better in the mouth and gives it a better feel to the body. It's bitter. It's sweet. It's quite chocolatey. You get a big hit of chocolate in there. You're getting... Not a big punchy coffee taste, but you are getting coffee in there. You're getting the malts. You're getting a vineness quality on the back end. Uh, Ten percent booze wise, I wouldn't. You can taste the booze. I'm not going to deny that, but you're certainly not. I wouldn't say you're getting sort of like 10% there. But you get, it's almost, almost like you're getting a vine this. You're getting, with, with that vine this and the, the malts and the, the alcohol you're almost getting a marmite sort of tang to it taste now I'm not keen on marmite but this is pretty decent this is pretty decent to be fair so just finalize it not bad body to the beer which is improved with the carbonation Nice mouthfeel, nice and soft. Uh, your taste, you're getting chocolate, quite a big chocolate hit. Bit of coffee in there. It's a little bit bitter. Surprised it's only 20 bit IBUs. Uh, you're getting a vine this in there. <clears throat> Almost a Marmite feel at some points of drinking it. A, a, a lovely beer. And certainly not drinking at 10%. So there we go. As I've said many times before, purchased from Zero Cafe Bar. Dark Crops, Freezing Moon, High Gravity, Imperial Stout coming in at 10%. Uh, I think it's normally 8 euros, but I got a bit of discount on it. So yeah, pretty decent. Uh, well worth a try. If you come to Cost, visit the place. Try these beers out. If you've had it before, let me know what you think. Uh, I'm a little bit gutted. I could have, like I said, I could have taken it home, but it would have been great to age it for a couple of years because that's when they say it's at its peak. So uh, that's it for this beer review. I am going to sit on the balcony and enjoy this. And uh, that's it. So like and share my video. Subscribe to my channel. Don't forget all the beer no idea on Facebook. All the beer no idea one on Twitter and Instagram. And I'll see you again tomorrow for another four beer review. So thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Cheers.